Hey everybody, how are you? So, I did a stream yesterday about Node.js. I was looking at an article that I found online about how maintainable Node.js was. So, what I want to do is look at, look at some of the comments, and then is Node.js going down? We'll find out in two seconds. All right, let's take a look. Uh, let's see what we got here. I love Node, but when a package breaks, it's a nightmare to debug. Uh, every time before going to bed, I check if there are no server-side JavaScript hiding under my bed. That's the most upvote. So that's uh, pretty pretty important. If you have server-side JavaScript hiding under your bed, that it could be a cause for concern, it seems. Uh, what else do we got here? Short answer, because my question is, uh, is Node.js code a nightmare to maintain? And the guy says, short answer from 2912. Uh, even its developer replaced it with Deno. So yeah, I, I note in my video at 2912, you can check out the video here, I note how the founder of Node, he basically dropped it because they said it was just too much of a nightmare to maintain because of all the dependencies, uh, et cetera, et cetera. When I looked at Node a couple of years back when I was doing a rewrite of my studio web SAS, I found the ecosystem to be just too much of a mess for my taste. So I stuck to PHP and PHP Laravel because it's just much cleaner. Uh, exactly. What's going on here? Uh, this guy says, binary reader says, I wouldn't even attempt building a Node.js server project without TypeScript. Even then, Node.js kind of sucks. TypeScript provides static type assertions but it's all facade. On the server side, do you care about the data entering and leaving the server? So a strong type system to assert runtime data is a minimal requirement to be viable on the server. There are options to mitigate the problem, but it's all messy lib space functionality. That's the key problem. At the end of the day, JavaScript is a thing, is the thing holding Node.js back, ironically. Sometimes it is easier to maintain regex the Node.js. If you know anything about regex, uh, you know how funny that is. Node is excellent for prototype apps, other words, MVPs, but a catastrophe for large-scale projects. But then again, if you know C Sharp or Java, I would never choose Node. What did somebody respond? Rust. <laughs> mm. Use Adonis JS and the nightmare is gone. Uh, Node.js is not of a problem. I have interviewed many JavaScript candidates. They don't understand the fundamentals. Oh my God. Who keeps telling people, who keeps telling people, you better study your fundamentals. They don't know the fundamentals. Data structures and design patterns. Uh, yep, again, one thing people ask, should you learn algorithms? And I said, no, you got to learn design patterns, good, best coding practices. Data structures, mm, you just know your basics, you know, different data types, uh, arrays, uh, collection types, and then you're pretty good. The possibility that you upgrade your Node app without errors is zero. In 2021, I had to downgrade Node itself several times to return to a functional app. At this point, I prefer Spring Boot and Grado. Uh, there we go. So that's pretty much the comment. So... It, this video is less than 24 hours old, 3,600 views and growing. The thing with the tech videos, it takes, it takes a while for the views to rack up. So this will probably be a seven to 10,000 view video. Yeah, so there you go. It seems that uh, within the Node community, there is a little dissension there. I uh, looked at Node briefly and I was uh, decided to keep away from it because I just found that the ecosystem NPM and the dependencies to be a nightmare. I looked at it and I said, no, I'm out of here. And then I heard and then I heard that the creator of Node decided that it was a nightmare too. So that tells you everything you need to know about Node, right? When the creator says, mm, it's like you have a kid and it turns out your son is somebody you just don't want to know and you give him the boot. That tells you everything you got to know about the kid. If the father of Node doesn't want to mess with Node, there you go. So uh, let's uh, do one other thing. So I went to Indeed.com, not a sponsor. I just think they're a decent, uh, a decent, um, what you call it, a measure. 
Anyways, I searched Node.js jobs, 9,000 jobs. 9,000 jobs, pretty good. This is for US, so there's indeed.com US, no specific city or state. So I guess across the US. Uh, let's see what we got, 15 to 25 an hour, that's very low. 62 an hour, that's more reasonable. If you want to know what the per hour rate, what it adds up to per year, you just multiply it by two and times 1,000. So uh, 25 would be 50,000 a year, 62 would be 124,000 a year. No jazz, no jazz. 70, 80 an hour, that's Philadelphia. So that's 140 to 160,000 a year, assuming full time. Uh, no jazz, Atlantis Group, remote, 73,000 to $157,000 a year. So there are jobs in no jazz and they're high paid. 9,000 jobs across the US, but what's always context is everything. Ah, PHP, good old dead PHP. Oh, let me just, uh, <laughs> I love magnifying this. Good old dead PHP. More jobs in PHP listed on Indeed, significantly more, than on uh, for Node. Now, I just point this out because uh, the PHP uh, community was under attack for years. I was one of the lone defenders back in 2007 and on. I said, PHP is not going anywhere. In fact, it hasn't. So you see tons of jobs. Let's see what this, 30 to 70 40, 45, 30 to 40. So you look at 60, 80,000 years starting. Uh, let's go on, let's go on. 70, 75,000, 50,000, 110,000. So they're being paid pretty good, pretty similar. 70, 75, so that's like 140 to 150,000. 90 to 100,000, 70 to 90. So you get the idea. All US dollars, of course, 8,500,000 a year. So, um, so, now that I, so as you can see, um, Node, there's a lot of jobs. So if you're doing Node and JavaScript, you're fine. Uh, but it's telling that the founder went over and did something else, Deno, because he thought Node was too much of a mess. And it's also interesting to see that dirty old PHP <laughs> has more jobs and equivalent pay. And that's just job listings. There's also tons of freelance work as well. So I'm not saying that PHP is better. I'm just saying that, the, I'm just trying to dispel the myth that PHP is dead and Node is amazing and fantastic. Um, nothing is perfect, my friends, nothing is perfect. Choose the right language for the right job and also based on personal taste. Take that and uh, consider it. We'll talk soon, bye-bye. <laughs>